Hello Taurus, I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not let's do this universe please step in show very clear <clears throat> and important messages for the sign of taurus for taurus highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for taurus in their life and how is taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? You still love your soulmate. So there's problem with this relationship. Yeah, this is like, you're not sure where this is going, really. Um, problem with communication. You still love the person. Yeah, you still love your soulmate. You're not sure what to do. This is you in a dilemma. You feel like you are at a final crossroads and you're going to have to make a final decision about this relationship. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you wish that they would finally hurry up and meet you halfway. Uh, reciprocate, communicate more effectively with you. Yeah. Now, if you didn't love this person, it would be so easy for you to just let them go and move on. But because you still love this person, it's hard for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's the end of a relationship. At least that's the way you see it. You feel like this relationship is broken up. You're not with them at this time, but you still love them. Yeah, you still love this person. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Doris. You still love this person, even though you let them go. You feel this is it. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life. And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah. You wish that they would show you that they still want you back, that they want to continue this, that they want to work on this and fix it. Oh, boy. It's showing up twice. Death, the end. The end of a relationship is showing up twice. Oof. Listen, don't listen to other people, uh, what they think that you should do. Only you know what's best for you. Listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition, your gut feeling. Your sound judgment. Yeah, because there are people around you who thrive on other people's drama. Yeah, who are into gossip. So, yeah, listen, ultimately listen to yourself. You know what's best for you, Taurus. Nobody knows what's best for you. They might think they do, but they don't. Only you know what's best for you. Only you know what actions you should take. Trust yourself. Yeah, trust yourself, Taurus. Because the answers are within you. Your intuition is on point. Yeah, you really love this person though. You really are drawn to this person. Still connected emotionally, spiritually. You really want to figure out how to move on or how to give this a new beginning. Hmm. You are kind of in a dilemma right now because you still love them. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. so there's a group of people in your life that loves to bring you drama. You see this? And you feel like you're stuck with this group of people, like you can't just walk away from them, whether it's group of uh, co-workers or friends or neighbors or um, family members. This is you feeling like you're stuck with this group of people and there's always drama when they are around. You see this? Gossip, drama. 
yeah craziness yeah <clears throat> this is you seeing very clearly what you need to do the answers are within you taurus trust yourself this is you so some kind of good luck this solar uh eclipse that we had uh i think it was three days ago on the eighth this solar eclipse that we had brings you good positive great energy for the next 12 months that has to do with money finances profit you see this so make sure that you use that energy uh because blessings are showing up here for you you see this maneuver correctly because financial windfall is showing up here for you financial blessings opportunities you see beautiful <clears throat> this is very positive yeah i'm happy for you now let me see what's going on here then we're going to ask about your soulmate you know what's please show us what's coming up for taurus in the life and how is taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey you feel emotionally unfulfilled in that relationship you feel like that relationship was not heading in the right direction even though you love the person but at the same time you feel emotionally unfulfilled without them like you feel you're missing that soulmate of yours yeah you feel like you've made some mistakes and you want to correct them so don't feel bad about it taurus don't be hard on yourself because we all make mistakes right but we have to address them in order to learn from them not to repeat them again so the good thing is you addressing the issues you looking objectively at this relationship uh, what worked what didn't work at your behavior at their behavior right and you realizing that you've made some mistakes and you want to correct them yeah don't feel bad about it don't punish yourself don't be hard on yourself but please do address them right please do learn from those mistakes because we all make them right we all uh whatever those mistakes might be whether you feel you trusted them too easily or gave them too many chances reconcile with them too many times whatever it might be <clears throat> address the issues right wow you feel like something has to drastically change in your life because you don't feel happy no you don't feel emotionally fulfilled yeah this is you feeling you're gonna have to be very discerning in your decision making moving forward with your life yeah let's see so you're gonna have to make some solid decisions for yourself taurus and only you can make them yeah you know what's best for you ultimately Let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? <clears throat> what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? They're so stressed out about this. They're stressed. Look how stressed out they are about this situation. Wow. And they overworked. They're trying to distract their mind with work so they don't have to feel this heartbreak, this sadness, this regret. They're trying to figure out what you're going to do, what your next step might be. They feel you very guarded emotionally towards them. They're very scared that if they approach you, you're going to reject them, say no to them or judge them in some way. They're waiting to see what you're going to do. But the more they wait, the more, uh, the more they realize they're going to have to reach out to you. Yeah. Let's see their subconscious position. Wow. So they feel enormously connected with you emotionally and spiritually past life connection yeah this person has a lot of respect for you loves you a lot a lot of love respect yeah i think it's safe to say that when the two of you were together they took this relationship for granted it came so easily for them and you know they got used to it and 
it's easy for us to take things for granted when we have it every day, right? But once we lose something, that's when we realize, wow, I had it made and I didn't even realize it. So that is what's happening with this person. This person is so worried that you made your final decision already about this relationship, that you're done with it. Universe, please show us. Wow, I'm so sorry you both are going through so much, Taurus. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we're going to see some kind of cards with cups, emotions, feelings. I don't see any of it yet. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? They want so badly to communicate with you, clear the air with you, eight of wands, communication, back and forth communication. Yeah, unexpected communication. So mm, this person has a lot of passion for you. Look how much respect they have for you. They view you as very wise, perceptive, strategic, analytical. They know that they can't just come back to you with pretty words and promises, that they need to prove themselves to you through actions, behavior. They're very stuck in their ways, though. It's hard for this person to admit to their mistakes, apologize for their mistakes. Um, they like to be alpha. They like to be in control. Yeah. They are attractive, alluring, uh, charismatic, enigmatic, uh, but they have a hard time uh, committing. You see this? This person likes to be alpha, in control. Yeah. Um, hmm. Some of you are de uh, dealing with Aries, also Libra and Virgo and Aquarius popping up here. This person has very hard time initiating communication, showing emotional vulnerability, committing. You see all these wants, 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 wants is about passion. They used to relationships where they don't really commit, where they don't really express emotions. It's just physical connections. And that's going to have to uh, change drastically if they want to gain your trust again because you are the real deal you want a solid relationship not one-sided relationship yeah see they waiting patiently you have no idea how patient they are trying to be to hear from you but the more they wait the more they realize they're gonna have to be the ones reaching out to you yeah Oh, they're in shock that they can't let you go, that they can't just move on with their life. You see this? Still no cups, none of these cards. This is amazing to me. Yeah, look how much respect they have for you. So they pretend to be an emperor. They're not an emperor. This is just a, a facade, a front. You see, they are a page while you are a fabulous empress. And a queen, you see this, they realize your worth, value, how much you mean to them. You see this? Wow. So it's amazing because in tarot, queens and kings complement each other. However, emperor and empress do not complement each other at all. Empress is about expansion, uh, loving, nurturing, giving, right? Emperor is about control, ego, being always right, right? Ego-driven energy. Wow, what a difference between emperor and empress. Let's see. Hmm. You know, let's please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with. they spying on you, checking up on you through videos like this social media, in person, any way they can, they're spying on you to see what you're doing, what you're up to, what's going on in your life, what you're thinking, feeling, planning. If you think they're enjoying no communication, no, they're not enjoying it at all. This is them sad, heartbroken. They have very hard time initiating communication. It's something they're going to have to learn if they want a solid relationship, right? Ah, apologies are showing up here. But 
Apologies are just words. They need to come through with solid actions, consistency in your life, dependability, right? Oof, they in shock. They didn't expect to be this deeply touched by this disconnection from you all. This deeply affected, you see this, the tower. They feel like the world is turned upside down. You see this? They're going through a lot. Finally, we see the cups card. This represents apologies. Yeah, but you cannot just go by the words. You have to ultimately go uh, by the actions um, and how consistent they are in those actions. Um, this person has very hard time in relationships uh, showing that they are emotionally vulnerable. They like to hide uh, those feelings, emotions. Yeah. Wow. Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, <clears throat> business, job, opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, <clears throat> they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.